you found the channel that's all about the great people and places of Monroe County. Hello, I'm John Byram, and this is Simply Monroe. The great state of Tennessee is known far and wide, worldwide, uh, of a place where you can hear some great music and listen to some great musicians. Well, anyone from this part of Tennessee knows that Monroe County has more than its fair share of great guitarists. Uh, a guitar player that I hold in great esteem, a fellow by the name of, of, of Harold Hampton, once said, there are great guitarists like Marty Stewart in this great state, and then there's Neil Turpin. And today I'm honored to be able to sit with a fellow, with this fellow. Uh, a lot of us thinks is the best guitarist in the area. So let's get to know him a little better today. Neil, welcome to Simply Monroe. No, oh, you're too kind. You are. Tell Harold I'll send his check to him for, <laughs> for being so nice to me. <laughs> he was serious as a heart attack when he's, he said that. He's a great guy. He is. he is a good guy, and I've known him for a long time. I appreciate the kind words. I do. Thank you, John. Um, well, let's just get started and let's start at the beginning. Neil, tell us, uh, tell the folks out there in Monroe County where you're from and, uh, you know, uh, who your parents are and tell us all about you. I'm from, uh, the Bethlehem community in, uh, between Madisonville, Teleco Plains, and that's where I was born and raised. Uh, uh, my dad was Ronnie Turpin. He's passed. Mm -hmm. My mother is Maxine Turpin, uh, Lillian, a lot of people call her. Right. But, uh, that's how I know her. Yeah. Yeah. That's her, her real name. But, uh. Um, that's where I was born and raised and just kind of grew up. Uh, Dad showed me about three chords and then uh, he took me to uh, Harley Millsaps. A lot of people know Harley, great guitar player around here and uh, got a wonderful place at Sweetwater Flea Market too. And uh, uh, so Harley gave me a bunch of lessons to start me off and uh, <laughs> rolled on through that. And uh, as a teenager, I kind of joined up with uh, uh, Jimmy Cole band played with him for a while. I know Jimmy. And, uh, yeah, yeah. He's, he he put me on stage, gave me opportunity, you know. And uh, Lord just went on, met a lot of people, you know, playing with him. And then one band leads to another, to another, you know, and ended up in Maryville, Jimmy Ross, and the Tommy Covey Music Store. And Tommy Covey did a lot of learning there, you know, and uh, just playing all over it. Just. It's funny you mentioned Harley Millsaps. I was actually going to mention him a little bit later on because yeah. Harley and I go way back. Oh, yeah. And I've done a little picking with Harley. Yeah. He's, he's a good teacher. Oh, he is. Sure he he's is. He's a yeah. great teacher. So how old were you when you actually started getting serious about it? I don't know, eight or nine probably. When I started getting real serious, you know, I'd beat around on them. Guitar Dad always had one around the right. house. You know, and I'd beat around on them, but I started getting really serious but then and, and, and really, really serious uh, eighth grade or so, you know. <laughs> That's and, amazing. Uh, just, just you know, figured out the girls, you know, kind of oh, like yeah. a guitar player. So, you know, that's, I, that's about all I had going for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, how old were you when you first played your first gig? Oh, probably about eleven. Eleven years old. Eleven or twelve, yeah. If I'm remembering right, that you know, yeah. That's amazing. Were you nervous? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got myself <laughs> into it. And oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Talked my way into it, and then I wanted to talk my way out of it. Like, oh no, <laughs> coach. What do I yeah, do? Yeah, what now? I do now? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you do? How did you do it on your first gig? Terrible, of course. <laughs> but uh, I faked my way through it. You know. Well, I bet if you talked to the people that were there, they they wouldn't tell us say it was was terrible. But who influenced you the most? I mean, I know you said your dad always had a guitar around, yeah. Uh, yeah. but I'm I'm sure you listened to music and tried to pick out what was going on with that oh yeah i didn't understand i didn't know who they were when i was, was young but i had a bunch of 45s of my right. dads and moms and uh, i kept hearing this guitar player he played with uh i really liked the ricky nelson records and uh, mm -hmm. of course the elvis stuff you know in the 70s i was born in the 70s and uh you know so uh, i finally figured out later on the guitar player was james burton oh he was a huge influence on me uh burton and uh, clarence white from the birds from the birds a, yeah, sure. huge influence on me his bluegrass stuff plus his stuff with the birds you know, and uh, there's so many great. Danny Gatton's probably one of my big oh, heroes. But I love you, Danny know, you know, but I mean, you know, who's? I mean, it goes on and on. Eddie Van Halen. I mean, who knows? You know, there's just a lot of great, a lot of great guitar players. What kind of style do you favor? I mean, what, I guess not so much style, but genre: country, rock, 
Uh, I, I like to feel like I'm more versed in the country right. style. Um, Merle Haggard was a big influence. You know, oh, yeah. On, on, uh, you know, singing, songwriting, and guitar. You know, People don't realize how good a guitarist oh, he, he was. Oh, he was. He was a great guitar player, yeah. And uh, so that was a big influence on me, too. And uh, so I always just kind of, you know, hung in the country side of things. I mean, I can play some rock and roll if right. you need me to, but, but it's not as good <laughs> as some of the other guys, you know. Okay. Well, I mentioned style just a second ago, different kinds of style. Do you have a style that uh, you can compare to? Because uh, I know there's that there's the chicken picking style, there's Merle Travis. and Yeah, it would be these. more more the chicken picking would be yeah. me. I can do some Travis thumb stuff. But, uh, and that that's a thing. You were talking about Harold Hampton, man. He yeah. could wire that stuff out. Yes, you know? he can. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I, I'm, I'm not as good a thumb picker as those guys are, but, uh, but I... <laughs> I, I I lean more towards the chicken picking side of it, you know. So you like Marty Stewart? I mean, oh, I mentioned sure. Marty. Yeah, Marty's, Marty's a awesome, awesome musician, singer, songwriter, photographer. You everything name. else, He's just whatever. Just you know, yeah, he I, can do it all. I watch his show and just uh, drill at his guitar playing. Oh yeah, he's amazing. Uh, but I would compare you to him. I'm oh no, him. that's that's a huge compliment. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of guitar do you play? What's uh, your favorite? What's your favorite guitar? The Fender Telecaster. The Telecaster. Yeah, hands down. Which, you know, I, that's funny. I see a lot of guitar players use the Telecaster, especially mm -hmm. country guitar sure. players that use the Telecaster. What is it about the Telecaster you really like? It's a workhorse. Is it? it really is. It, it's 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 simple. Basic. It's it's two pickups and the truth. You know, <laughs> I think Harlan Howard said three three chords in the truth is country music, but, you know, two pickups and the truth is a Telecaster, and it'll tell on you. Yeah. You know, there's nothing to sugar. It, it's it's, it it's what it raw is. and in your face, you know. But it, it and they're just a tough old guitar, you know. And if you're out here traveling up and down the road, you, you got to have something pretty tough, you know. Yeah, they and get beat up. They get beat up and, and knocked around. Well, you mentioned Clarence White. Uh, I know Marty plays his B bender, which sure was does. the very first B bender ever built. It was, yeah. yeah. Uh, do you is his was his style a big influence on you, Clarence? Oh yeah. You mentioned him earlier. Yeah, the B bender but... stuff was. Yeah, I heard that and I thought, what's what's this? How's he doing? How's he doing, how's he that? doing it? I couldn't <laughs> figure it out, you know. <laughs> and then. Uh, then I read a magazine article. You know, that's pre-internet. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I read a magazine article. I thought, oh, well, that makes sense. And then I wanted to start building me one. Oh, yeah. Do you do you play a B-Bender? Yeah, I've got one. Got I, one. I don't play it all the time, but I have one. Yeah. Uh, for for those folks out there who don't know what a B-Bender guitar is, it's a guitar where you can, it's got a little lever, and it, it bends the B-string up a full step. Yeah, you can set it high for hold. High for hold. High for hold. And yeah. To get a, a like a pedal steel guitar sound out of it, so it's very difficult to play. But these guys can play them. Trust me, they can play them. They call it the third hand. The third know? hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Well, let's talk about some of the people uh, that you've played with. Who, so, some of the luminaries in the country music world that you've played with. Oh, I don't know. That's. I don't, I don't, I don't want to name drop. You know, but, uh, oh, sure you do. No, I don't. Uh, you know, you know. John Lennon told me not to name drop. Hell I, did uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, no. I've been, I've been really blessed. You know, I, I'm one of the luckiest guys around here. You know, and uh, uh, not just the country music field. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of shows with people. You know, uh, been on the same show with people, open right. shows. I've worked for some people. We've done. Uh, we used to go out and do stuff with the uh, the Stamps, the Imperials. Um, oh, wow. The Blackwood Brothers, yeah. um, all those folks that uh, that worked on the the Elvis show used to work with a lot of those guys. Of course, Elvis was gone shortly after I was born, but but uh, his band still done a lot of oh, stuff. Oh yeah, they and, still, and do. still do. And uh, so I've worked with a lot of those people. Been really blessed to be able to do that. Uh, Lord, uh, let's see, Bobby Cyrus, all the Cyrus people out of Eastern Kentucky up there, Bobby and his family. Right. And uh, um, Lord, with him we done. Mark Holly, uh, Ken Mellons. Wow. Um, great guy. Um, Jamie O'Neill. Um, I don't know. I'm, a whole you know, bunch of A them, whole huh? bunch of people over the years. And uh, then working with Southbound, too, with, with Randy Woody and those that we yeah. opened. Lord, I've lost count of the shows. We, we were so blessed. You know, we got to open for everybody, you know, the Headhunters. Um, Gretchen Wilson, uh, Lord, we just didn't you guys open for David Allen Cole? We did uh, more than once, yeah. yeah. And those guys have since I've been doing other things. They worked with him a, a bunch, yeah. Especially I know in Daytona, they've done a lot of stuff down that way with him. But yeah, yeah. Good deal, man. Well, I know that the the last time I heard you was at the Majestic Theater in Pigeon Forge. That's been yeah. a while. 
Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, I worked over there for a season. Uh, worked uh, three different shows in that building. Uh, we did, uh, and they're still running mm -hmm. right now. Uh, uh, we did a, a salute to Motown. Right. Did the Hazard County Hoedown show, and uh, which was more of a Dukes Hazard children's based, right. you know, family fun thing. And uh, we did the uh, uh, the fifties uh, type show, fifty sixties review type show, uh, the America's Hit Parade, right. as they called it. It's produced by Doug and Jackie up there, and uh, so all kinds of music for that. You know, you went from fifties, sixties, seventies, all the way into modern day. All the way through all the Motown, all I mean, it was it was quite the catalog to learn. So you had to be versatile, very versatile. You got to try to be a chameleon, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I, I knowing you, I know you pulled it off. Oh no, I, it, it it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun working those shows. Yeah. Is there someone still in the business that inspires you? I mean, I know there's some great guitar players out there, uh, but. You know, at your level, I, I would think it would be kind of hard to find somebody to inspire you. Oh, Lord, everybody does. Oh, yeah? Really, yeah, I'm nobody. They, uh, man, I learn something every day. I do. And I feel like if you stop, you, you got a problem. I would you agree know? with that. And uh, I learn so much. I teach, you know, guitar. Right. And I learn so much from students and just from really? showing them stuff. Yeah, yeah, I learn a lot from that, yeah. Wow. And, uh, you know, it... it I, you don't ever stop learning, you know. And there, oh, there's no. people out there, you know, there's still guys, you know, I still go back and watch the old videos. Some of them guys are dead, but, man, I've still got a lot to learn from the cats, you know. <laughs> well, yeah, I know how it is. I'm, you know, I'm 68 years old, and I yeah. still try to pick up something every now and then. Sure. And thank goodness for YouTube, huh? Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> just imagine if we had that when we were kids. Oh, my know? goodness. That would, no, that's just a, that would be a dream come true. Yeah. What's next for you professionally? Where do you, where do you go from here? I just... You know, I get up in the morning, I say, Lord, send me where you want me to be. And that's what happens. That's huh? what happens, man. I don't question it. You know, yeah. I just I just follow him. He's got me this far. You now, know? you do a lot of sessions work. I uh, do. Sometimes it's kind of slowed down with the COVID stuff. But, of course, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm sure, you know, Nashville's getting back, uh, back to normal mm -hmm. somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I know session work is probably going to pick up. Tell us about your session work. Is that something you like to do? I enjoy it. I do. And nowadays you can do a lot of it from home, you know, uh, oh. your home studio. You can fly it out, they call it, you know. Right. And, uh, so that's helped during the COVID thing. That's helped a lot of people work. Uh, but still, yeah, I've got to go do one in the morning, as a matter of fact. Uh, you know, I've got to go to Franklin, Tennessee, uh, south of Nashville, and do a uh, session with uh, another local guy, Cole Sitzler. <laughs> i got to do wow. a session with him over there. He's got some studio time booked. Good deal, man. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, you know now with Pro Tools and and all this stuff, you can get a recording in somebody's basement that you used to have to pay a record company a lot of money. To do, you know? Yes, I know. And uh, it's 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 great. <laughs> you know, makes your lot, life a lot easier. It does. It? it does. It does. It does. And with the technology coming along, it's going to get more and more to that yeah. side of it. I'm, I'm sure. It sure is, yeah. Well, good deal. Well, folks, we're going to take a little break here, and when we come back, we're going to have Neil play for us and show us his versatility and his talent, and uh, you will be impressed. So stay with us, uh, and thank you for watching Simply Monroe. Hello, everybody. It's Melissa Graves, and I'm on the set tonight for In the Kitchen with Melissa Graves, and I'm at Donna's Old Town Cafe in downtown Madisonville. We're gonna show you some exciting things that we've got going on. We've been cooking up a storm in here tonight and this is only half of the things we've been cooking. We've got our chicken salad, our broccoli salad, our new spicy chicken sandwich, and lots, lots more that is available here at Donna's Cafe. I also wanna let you all know some exciting news. We're gonna be opening back up our upstairs dining room on Sunday afternoons. So you'll be able to come in and have an option of sitting on our downstairs level or dining in the new upstairs level um, and check out our new buffet. I'm so excited that we got that put in this year and it certainly is gonna make your dining experience a little easier and a little faster on Sunday afternoon. So you'll have hardly any wait to come in and try all of our delicious fixings on Sundays. Come on down to Donna's Old Town Cafe. We're in downtown Madisonville, 100 College Street South. We open Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 8 a.m. till 3 p.m. Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays from 7 a.m. till 8 p.m. And on Sundays from 7 a.m. till 3 p.m. And don't forget, we have that breakfast bar every morning with my grandmother's homemade chocolate gravy. Y'all come down and check us out soon.
one for Harold. Harold taught me a song. We were talking about Harold Hampton earlier. Harold taught me a song. Stay with us right here at Simply Monroe. We'll be right back. At Mike Anderson Productions, you may know us as an award-winning music video producer for producing programs like In the Kitchen with Melissa Graves. Going down to Donna's Cafe. Or bringing you local video vlogs like Simply Monroe. We are here to share the incredible Did story. you know that Mike Anderson Productions also specializes in drone and HDR real estate photography? We offer professional photography services for real estate brokers and agents with an insured FAA licensed and certified drone pilot who is also a certified drone photographer by the Professional Photographers of America. Our real estate interior photos are shot utilizing the very latest methods in HDR photography and software processing. So now you know that Mike Anderson Productions specializes in drone and real estate photography. And we think that's big news. Wow, Neil, that was, uh, that was something to watch. And we appreciate you doing that for oh, us today. I, thank you, I appreciate it. That's a lot of fun. Well, you know, for those of you who want lessons from Neil, he's got a store out on 411 North, and I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about that. If you're going to learn, learn from the best, and this guy is one of the best. So, Neil, tell us about your store out there on 411 North. Yeah, we're located at 4259 Highway 411 in Madisonville, uh, right beside the United Grocery Outlet. Uh, we give lessons. Uh, we set you up on uh, uh, one lesson a week, 30-minute session, and... Uh, just about any instrument you want to learn, come by and see us. We'll get you signed up. Yeah. I've been in Neil's store. He's got some great instruments out there for you folks that are interested in, uh, you know, purchasing guitars. Or I've, I saw guitars. I saw dulcimers. Oh yeah, dulcimers, uh, fiddles, mandolins, fiddles. mandolins. Yeah, we got everything uh, from the beginner to the pro. Uh, so come out there and see Neil. Uh, I think Legends. Yeah, Legends Guitar. Legends shop. Guitar yep. Shop on 411 North, mm -hmm. and uh, sign up for his lesson. So. Neil, thanks for taking the time today to be with us, man. This has uh, been incredible. I appreciate uh, you having me. I do. Thanks. Well, I know our folks out here in uh, Monroe County appreciate you taking the time to come here and play for us and tell us a little bit about yourself. So with that, folks, I want to thank Neil and thank you for being with us today here at Simply Monroe. I'm John Byram. Mm -hmm.